what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we'll be talking about ict breaker block pattern i will explain exactly what is a breaker block how you can identify a breaker block and how you can trade a breaker block so this is exactly what i'll be showing you in today's video so what is a breaker block a breaker block is simply another block that has been violated and what do i mean by that another block that failed to hold price that's a breaker block okay i hope you understand the basic concept of smart money strategy understanding market structure and your other block and supply and demand zones if you understand these basic concepts understanding a breaker block won't be hard for you so we basically have two types of breaker blocks we have a bullish breaker block and we have a bearish breaker block so i'm gonna start by explaining what is a bearish breaker block so looking from this area right now what can you clearly see understanding the market structure you can see that this is a low and this low prints this high okay this low push to the upside and it prints this high after the high was prints we see price pulling back to the downside and it prints another low okay so when price prints another low what do we see we see price push to the upside and it breaks structure so when price breaks structure what are you going to be looking for what you're going to look for is your other block so like i said when price breaks structure we're going to look for our other block and expect price to push to the downside so in this case what can you see price pushed to the downside and it failed to respect this our other block what do we see price breaks through our other block which means that this other block has been violated so this other block that has been violated this is our breaker block okay this is actually our bearish breaker block because what we're gonna see is that this is a change of character which indicates that price is likely to push to the downside and after that what do we see we see price returning back to mitigate this breaker block okay you see price returns back and it's here to mitigate the breaker block and that is exactly what we see here so this is more like a live example when you go to a price chart so what you can see is that price rallies to the upside prints a high push to the downside and here is another high that price has prints which break structure to the upside okay so what can you see from there after price prints this high what we do is that we map out our other block so this bearish candle right here you can clearly see how i mapped it out as our other block now what we can clearly see is that price returns back and the other block failed to hold price now the other block failed to hold price you see price blasts through that other block this is a change of character because price broke below our higher low and you see this other block right here failed to hold price now that price formed a change of character breaking this other block this other block is changed to a breaker block okay this is now our bearish breaker block because what we're gonna do is we're gonna expect price to pull back and mitigate this breaker block okay price is gonna pull back into this breaker block and it's gonna mitigate it so this is simply a breaker block and this is how you can actually trade it waiting for price to come back and tap into this block and you can actually use your entry types you know in the last video i talked about perfect entry explaining the two entry types we have so you can choose any of the entry types if you haven't watched the video on entry you can check the last video before this one i talked about entry so this is it about a bearish breaker block so i'm going to show you example of a bullish breaker block before we go to the price chart for a real life example okay before i show you a live example on the price chart so this is basically the same thing over here what we see is that price push to the downside prints a low here is another high what do we see price push to the downside taking the stops at this low okay price took the stop loss and when price took those stops what is our expectation our expectation is that price is going to pull back into this other block right here because surely we have another block right here but what we see price doing is that the other block failed to hold price when price pulled back to it instead it breaks the other block and breaks this our high right here so we see this as a change of character and if you want to trade the breaker block what you're going to do is to wait for price to come back tap into this breaker block and you look to trade to the upside and that is exactly what we have right here that is exactly what we have what you can clearly see is that price rallies to the downside a pullback and a continuation to the downside which breaks structure to the downside 
and what are we going to expect price to do we're going to expect price to respect this other block right here but looking at what price the price come blast through the other block that is violating that other block now we have a change of character what we're going to do is to map it out and wait for price to come back now price came back and mitigates the block and you see price pushed it upside so this block right here since price breaks through the other block making it a failed other block instead of being totally a failed other block it turns into what we call a bullish breaker block why is it a bullish breaker block we are looking to go long from that block okay so this is simply what a breaker block is all about now we'll be moving to a price chart so i will show you a live example okay so let's go to a live chart so i'll show you a live example so this is euro chf price chart and i will use it to explain exactly what is a breaker block and how you can actually trade a breaker block okay so i'll be explaining from this area so if you look right here you can clearly see the price push to the upside a pullback and a continuation to the upside now we're going to map it out as our break of structure at first you can see price spiked but couldn't close above that high so for me it's not a valid break of structure now extending it you can see we have a close above the high now that's a valid break of structure for me now what we're gonna do is to basically identify our other block so this is our other block right here you can see this candle it's our other block but we can actually refine it to this small candle right here that's if we want to refine it but for the purpose of this example i think we should stick to the clearer one right here this one that is more clearer we have to stick to it as our other block now what we're going to do is to play price forward and see how this other block fails and how it turns to a bearish breaker block okay remember i said a breaker block is a failed other block another block that failed to hold price so when it fails to hold price we identify it as our breaker block so we play price forward right now and you see price taps into the other block and it gives a little reaction now what do we see we see price pushing to the downside and you can see it very clearly now that the other block failed to hold price at first price taps into this other block gave a little reaction and now we see price breaks below the other block so this is what we identify as our change of character and i hope you all understand what a change of character is okay now what you can clearly see is that we got this change of character and this your other block this bullish other block automatically turns into what we call a bearish breaker block so what you're gonna do right now is to wait for price to come back into this block and give you a reaction and from what you can see price is already in this area so we basically have two types of entry the one we call risk entry and the confirmation entry so that's the two entry types we have and that's the last video before this one right now so you can check out that video and see how you can actually enter this trade so this is our change of character you can see we have a clear close at this low price breaks the low and the other block fail to hold price so this is our breaker block our bearish breaker block so we're going to see how price reacts to it right now and you can see price taps into the 50 percent and what can you see after that price pushed to the downside and this is exactly what a breaker block is okay price taps into it and you see that expansion to the downside this is exactly a breaker block and this is how you can trade it with any of the entry type so i will show you the second example right now so this is gbp usd the two hours time frame and i will use it to show you the second example of breaker blocks and this particular one is for a bullish breaker block because we'll be looking for longs okay so if you look right here you can see that price has been trending to the downside okay price has been trending to the downside and what can we actually see from here we see price breaks this low right here and what is our expectation our expectation is that price will come and mitigate another block right here so we can include the whole of this as our other block although it's large and it can actually be refined okay so this is our other block and our expectation is that price will come mitigate the other block and continue to the downside so what do we see from here what you can clearly see right now is that the other block failed to hold price okay the other block failed to hold price and remember a breaker block is simply 
another block that has been violated so this other block has been violated and it failed to hold price and if you look closely what we have right now is a change of character a change of character which signifies a possible change of direction so this failed order block automatically turns into your bullish breaker block okay it turns into your bullish breaker block and like i said what you're gonna wait for right now is for price to pull back into this breaker block and a continuation to the upside and like i said you can use any of the entry types you can use your risk entry or your confirmation entry now what can we see right now okay what you can see price taps into it immediately you can see price returns back and taps into the block you can see these bearish candles that's the retracement that taps into this block and what we can see price starts to push to the upside and you can see it price starts to move away from there and right now you see price comes back once more and you can see how price starts to push to the upside after tapping into it okay you can see price comes back once more into the block and you can see the reaction we're getting so this is simply a breaker block and this is how you can identify a breaker block and how you can actually trade it a breaker block is simply an order block that failed to hold price and i believe with the examples i've given you today you can be able to identify a breaker block and you can equally be able to trade a breaker block so i think i should show you maybe one more example before i end this video so this is eurocard the two hours time frame and i'll use it to explain exactly what is a breaker block okay i'll use it to explain what's a breaker block it's i think i have to take this back before i start explaining so right here so what you can clearly see is that we have a break of structure okay you see price break this swing high okay we have a pullback another break of structure right here so going down to the lower time frame at this area this is where this will be very significant but i'll use it for the purpose of this example so right here what you can clearly see is that price pushed to the upside with this break of structure right here and our expectation is price is going to come back to this area and react to the upside because this is another block okay this is another block but what do we see right here price taps into the other block and we have a reaction since we are looking for a breaker block what we're going to do is wait for the other block to fail to hold price we're getting a little reaction but our main expectation right now is that this other block is going to fail to hold price so we look to trade from the bearish breaker block now continuing we see we didn't really get a break of the zone we didn't get a clean break of this zone what we see price doing right here is just spiking below the zone so it's not yet a breaker block we have to wait for price and now you can clearly see we now have a clear break of this low okay which is the change of character okay price has now break and closed below the low so what you're gonna do is just to wait for price to come back to this breaker block and you look to trade from there okay although price have had multiple reactions at this area but this is still a breaker block because we just got the change of character this bearish candle right here this is where we got the change of character so you can use any entry type once price comes back into this area and you look to trade from there and now you see price comes back taps into the block and what can you see the reaction to the downside so this is simply how to trade with a breaker block okay this is how you can trade with it and i hope you understand exactly what i explained in today's video so i hope you enjoyed this one if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to this channel here is born to trade and we talk about trading strategies on this channel so consider subscribing to the channel and see you in the next video